This Friday Eve, we had beautiful weather around the wire grass, a lot of sunshine for the most part. Just really in the later part of the day is when some cloud cover started to stream in. More of that is going to be coming in as we head into the overnight and through the day tomorrow. The rain chances won't be that will hold off until the weekend. Now, as far as our conditions right now, 54 degrees, certainly on the mild side. The winds out of the south at 7 will continue to keep the moisture flowing into the area and temperatures staying on the mild side for tonight. The dew point temperatures are creeping up into the 40s to our south when they start getting to the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow you will notice that extra humidity and it's just going to be a beautiful afternoon with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures tonight starting out on the warm side for tomorrow morning. 44 degrees for our low temperature and then going through the afternoon it will warm up pretty nicely with a bit of sunshine in between the cloud cover temperatures by lunchtime upper 60s to lower 70s. Our high should be right around 72 degrees with that south wind continuing throughout the day. So it is going to be a pretty nice afternoon. Nice and dry, nice and spring like the warm trend is going to continue. Those temperatures in the 70s for the next several days. It looks like Sunday will be the warmest day, but that's also when we expect the highest storm chances here in the Wiregrass. And also we do have that potential for strong and severe storms both Saturday and into Sunday. That slight risk for Saturday is going to be to our north and west. That's where the strongest storms will be setting up. We could have a few spotty storms in our area with some gusty winds, but that primary threat is going to be to the northwest. And then on Sunday, as that front slides into the area, Area, that risk area is going to be right over the wire grass, so we will be and under the threat for some strong and severe thunderstorms going into the afternoon hours. This is the storm system out west that is going to be organizing coming in our direction, picking up golf moisture, and that will develop the storms Sunday afternoon, maybe as early as late Saturday night is when the storm chances will enter the forecast. But through the day tomorrow, we'll have that cloud cover creeping in first thing tomorrow morning. Mild temperatures, the winds will be out of the south throughout the day, helping to increase that moisture in the atmosphere. Some showers will be developing to our north ahead of a boundary that's draping into the region, but not bringing us any rain. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures in the lower 70s with that flow off the Gulf of Mexico through the day and through the overnight to Saturday. That rain will be staying to our north and that will change as we go into the later part of the day after lunchtime. A frontal boundary that we will be tracking for Sunday will start to get a little bit closer. Some showers and storms for central Alabama and a few spotty showers for us possible, but that frontal boundary will be setting up to our north north and another wave of moisture will be developing and moving in on Sunday and that's when we do have that chance for those severe storms around the area. So for tonight, pretty mild, a few thin clouds rolling through. Lots of sunshine to start the day for Friday. Warm temperatures then in the afternoon heading home from work and school. We will be in the lower to middle 70s, so definitely a spring like day. Spring is getting pretty close and then going into the evening hours tomorrow will be pretty nice for heading out on the town and enjoying a night outside and that will continue next week. But for the weekend, no showers and storms will be in the forecast. 78 degrees for Saturday, Sunday. You'll want to turn your clocks forward one hour in the morning and then in the afternoon. Strong and severe storms possible all around the region. Storm chances don't go away completely next week, but those nice and warm temperatures will be stick around. Those lows will definitely stay on the mild side.